You guys, I spent so much time walking last week. Seriously, London is such a huge city. I felt like my ankles were gonna break. My dogs were definitely barking. So guys, if you're new to my channel, please take this time to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So let's begin. So in London, I did a couple of plant related excursions and I wanted to share them with you. So this, what you see here is um, the sky garden. So that's exactly, I mean, that's what it is. It's basically like a garden in the sky, guys. Um, it's about 38 or maybe even 40 floors up. So you get a really good vantage point of the entire city because you can walk around. I think it's like a 360 degree um, terrace out there, but they have a bunch of plants and it's a super cool place to just have a drink, maybe a coffee. They also have a bar on the other side that I'll show you in later clips, but it's very um, cool on the inside. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is that um, it wasn't really a good environment for plants to thrive in. Like I didn't see any humidifiers um, and the, none of the plants had names. Oh, and also up where you see there, there's also a fancy little restaurant that you can have um, a fancy dinner with your significant other or maybe use your pals. Um, but I didn't eat there, so I can't uh, recommend either way. But I bet you at night, it's a really uh, pretty uh, view of the city. But here's that bar I was telling you about where you can just like have a drink or two or three or five. Nobody's going to judge you up here. Also, um, you have to schedule and book a time to go if you want to come visit. But admission is free. It's free of charge. It's free to come party up here. And you can stay as long as you want. I don't think that there's a limit for you to stay. But I um, came in the morning because I didn't want to deal with long lines. And you know what? There weren't any lines. And in fact, you can come in um, earlier than your scheduled time. I think our scheduled time was 930, but they allowed us to come a little earlier. So guys, I'm super obsessed with this plant right here because at first I thought they were weeds because look at the base. Doesn't it look like dandelions? I was like, what are they doing up here? Um, but they weren't. They had these pretty, look at that. That totally looks like a weed, right? Um, but they had the most beautiful little flower buds and in full bloom, they reminded me the middle part. Okay, so here you can see uh, this is obviously before it's blooming, but look at the little texture, the furriness of the shell or whatever that thing is outside of it. Every time I see flowers in this form before they, they, um, they bud or bloom, they remind me of the Little Mermaid movie. Remember how um, she and her sisters used lipstick? They like squished this flower plant. I don't even know what that was, but that's for whatever reason what it reminds me of. But yeah, it has the prettiest flower, but the little thing on the inside that you see there that reminded me of the flowers from String of Hearts, the String of Heart plant. Anyway, that's what that reminded me of. <laughs> but I just thought it was interesting how the base looks like a weed but look at what i found here i think this is only the only um maiden hair fern uh that i saw throughout the whole place um they had a whole bunch of the wandering jew which i think it's super easy to grow those anyway i mean they grow without soil <laughs> they can grow in water or just like put them on your dining room counter or sorry your kitchen counter and it'll continue to grow, I swear. I don't know how how it grows, but it does. So as I was mentioning earlier, I think it would have really been nice to have some kind of plaques or names uh, of each of these plants, but there wasn't. Oh, and look at this. This is a speaker disguised as a rock. So the noises that were coming out were like cricket jungle noises. Isn't that funny? I mean, yeah, okay, this place was um, a cool kind of place to visit. 
and see the city from a really high vantage point. But it was trying so hard to be this like lush, indoor, urban jungle when it's really not. So <laughs> here's a creeping fig, creeping Charlie. No, I think this is a creeping fig. Um, super easy to grow. I had a couple of these last year, but they got um, crispy and died while I was on vacation. Luckily this time around I was only gone for about a week or so and I made sure to water all my plants um, before I left and so none of them, everyone was fine when I got home. Um, so here we're looking at this really big trunk. I'm not sure what type of like palm plant this is, but I thought it was really cool how they had this irrigation or self irrigation system because with a plant this big, if you try to just water, you know, straight to the trunk, it'll just trickle down because this plant is at an angle. And so it was nice to have or to see them have kind of this thing, this um, hose that leaked very slowly and trickled down to the very, um, uh, down below its, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's trunk. <laughs> but what I didn't show was they had beautiful um, birds of paradise plants, but all of them were infected by this like powdery, like white spots that um, I remember having on my Tradescancia. So they had it there too. So a lot of their plants were actually diseased. So again, I wish they would take better care of their plants, but it was a very cool place to visit nonetheless. So this next place is not a plant related excursion, but honestly, it was one of the most fun things I did on my London trip. So I just wanted to share with you all my experience having um, high tea. I guess it's something that you just have to do. There's multiple places that you can go to throughout London to have it. But this one was such a very um, artistic experience. Like I'm, I don't have a clip here, but um, their bathroom was like all white um, and their toilets were encased in large eggshells. Yes, that is caviar that you see there. It was a very fun experience. You should check it out, look it up on Instagram because it was a very like Instagram friendly place. Okay, so anywho, this is now um, Q Gardens, Q Botanical Gardens. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Q or Q. I want to say Q, but I've heard a few people say Q, so we'll just go with that. This is a massive property. Not really sure the history behind it, but it's got like three or four, maybe even five observato observatories like I just showed you in that previous clip. And they are all full and lush with tropical plants. Now this is obviously a place that is dedicated to growing um, and making sure the environment uh, helps these plants thrive unlike the Sky Garden place. And look, they have all their names. I tried to get a clip of the names of each plant that I show you. I didn't even, I mean, I didn't even show you guys. Okay, I'm having trouble speaking English today, but what I'm trying to say is I did not film even like a 16th of the plants that were in this or, or on the property, like I'm, this was massive. So I only got clips of things that I really liked or have never seen before because a lot of the plants were like, they had a bunch of pothos in there and things that you guys probably normally see at your uh, local nurseries and stuff. And so, but this plant I wanted to show you because I miss my crotons oh so much. Remember the ones that I had to get rid of when I had my ant infestation? Yeah, I missed them. And so I saw that plant and thought, hey, this is the same like similar pattern that my croton had. 
But look at this cool thing. So when it first buds, this is the bloom of this plant. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember if I got a clip of the name, but doesn't it look like little coral beads? So I used to, I have a bunch of like beads because I used to make jewelry and this is what this reminded me of. But look in the back, that green pickle gherkin looking thing. So that's what it looks like before it blooms. And I guess these little bead things are its petals. How cool is that? I am I was just like, oh, also there were a ton of bugs in this, in each of these observatories, which is totally cool because that is what... Okay, super annoying. Sorry about that. My microphone keeps going in and out. I got a faulty one. But as I was saying, bugs are critical to the ecosystem of these plants and they are what help make them be these lush things that they are for us to enjoy. So, oh my gosh, look at this plant. So this was hidden behind a couple of other plants and it just so happened that during this time of day the sunlight created kind of a spotlight effect on this plant and it was like drawing a bunch of people towards it it's so cool i was very tempted to pick off one of those olive looking things and see what the heck that was is it edible probably not but it was so cool this plant um i was I don't know, in retro, I mean, now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of raggedy, but I think I was enjoying the scalloped edges of that leaf. But this plant reminded me of basil. So you know when um, a basil plant gets a little bit mature and it starts to flower? Doesn't it look like that white flower that it makes? Kind of. Although this one, look at the very tip of this flower. I don't know if that eventually like unfurls and blooms into a different type of flower, flower, power. <laughs> I didn't see any of the other ones have it, but this one did. And so I don't know if it's just something that's gonna spread like the rest and like kind of keep growing upwards. I'm not sure, but I was really drawn to this plant and the color is just so vibrant so here's the name of this plant i don't even know how to say that justicia sherd wilery sherd wilery we'll go with that but isn't it beautiful i was so tempted to kind of like you know break some of the leaves to see if they give off a scent but some of them are probably poisonous or like will give me an allergic reaction oh by the way so throughout the these gardens there were um chihuly installations i don't know if you just saw there but they were so pretty look how massive these are it was so hot this day the lines for this botanical gardens were so freaking long we literally wrapped around the entire block and I must have waited in line for, I want to say, an hour and a half. My feet were hurting so bad. Um, but there are a lot of places to kind of sit and take a break in each of these observatories as well as throughout the whole properties. There are also, um, there was also a trolley that you could take that kind of, um, takes you around the property. I'm not sure if it makes little stops here and there, but um, we didn't get on there because I think it cost extra and I wanted to kind of see the entire grounds by foot, even though I didn't make it throughout the whole thing because <laughs> my feet were hurting so bad. So look at this beautiful staircase that leads you up to, it's kind of like a balcony um, that wraps around the entire observatory. It's so beautiful, but again, there are humidifiers throughout the whole place, like just keeping this place super um, humid and warm and hot. So as you can imagine, when you go upstairs, it felt like Hades up there. It was so hot. I tried to take a clip, but then I've been 
I did this a lot throughout the trip where I thought I hit record, but it actually was not recording. So I apologize for that. <laughs> um, it was really pretty up there. You got a really nice view of the entire observatory. Um, but I, I wasn't able to, I'm not going to be able to include that clip in here, obviously, because it doesn't exist. Okay. Look at this tropical beauty. It reminds me of like garlic, a yellow piece of garlic that's growing out of what wants to be a pineapple, right? Don't you think that's what this looks like? I don't know what it was, but I just, I was so tempted to just like pluck off that yellow thing because look, they have a whole bunch of the yellow things growing out of there. So interesting. And then like, if I pluck it off, is it edible? I don't know. I wanted to smell and taste a bunch of these plants, but again, obviously most of them are probably not edible. They also didn't have a lot of people kind of like working inside the observatories where you can go to for questions, but that's cool, whatever. Um, I guess that's what the labels are for, right? So this um, plant reminded me of like, it gives, it has like a very Christmas holiday vibe, does it not? Um, it reminded me of a snowflake for whatever reason. I think it's the way it branches off. But yeah, I thought this was super cool. Um, it's colorless. I wonder why. Like, what is it about this plant that makes it not have any kind of pigment? Hmm. Also, the leaves, don't they remind you of like a fiddle leaf looking thing? Is that a fiddle leaf? Fit? No, I don't know what that is. But look at this prickly thing. So my camera had trouble focusing in on the needles, um, but I think it'll get it right here. But oh, there, yeah, in the background you can see, but now here, <laughs> up close. But these remind me of um, like bamboo. Yeah, the stalks, the stalks reminded me of bamboo, except for these little prickly things. Gosh, that would like be a total pain because my neighbors love bamboo and it's freaking taken over an entire, like it's taking over a good portion of the backyard. We're not really outdoor gardeners, but still it's like, I'm afraid it's gonna uproot our house one of these days because there's just so many of them but can you imagine if you already had a bamboo infestation and then they had those prickly things on top of that that would suck so here's another interesting looking beady plant thing um this just looked like fruit again i'm sorry i wanted to pluck it off i wanted to eat it but remember this guy oh yes so I didn't touch it. I tried to touch it on camera, but it just like wouldn't fold. But that's supposed to, when you touch it, I think it's like a touch me not plant. And they're actually considered weeds across a lot of like Asian um, countries because they love and thrive being in direct sunlight. And so when you touch the inner um, stem of the plant, all of the leaves beautifully close up um, from being touched. But Anywho, moving on, look at how, look at the roots. Crazy. These roots are crazy. I, this makes me want to build a greenhouse of my own. But again, I live in the PN dubs, so we don't get a whole lot of sunshine. Although the week that I was in London, it was like 85 degrees in Seattle. Would you believe that? I guess I just take the rain wherever I go because it was a little bit rainy the first couple of days that I got to London, but whatever. Look at this beautiful hibiscus flower. At least I think it's a hibiscus flower. Isn't that what these are called? So um, look at it majestically blowing in the wind. I also, so this was by the door. So um, every time people would come in and out of the building, a nice cool gust of wind would just like come in and so yeah i was there 
standing for a while because the wind felt so good. It was so hot in here, you guys. You don't even know. My eyebrows were literally sweating off. I think when I left the place, they were on my cheekbones. But anyway, it was beautiful in there. Um, I'm really glad I went. I, I um, saw like vlogs of this from other people on YouTube and I really, really re wanted to go. So we, uh, at this time during this part of our trip, we were staying, I believe on the West End part of the city. And it took maybe a 40 minute tube ride to get to this place. I think it's in Richmond. So um, yeah, really glad I went here. I hope you enjoyed these short clips of what I um, did during my trip. If you ever go to London, I am so impressed by their public transportation system. I mean, you literally can get from one end of the city to the next in 15 minutes. I, I'm shocked. It's our, our public transportation system here in Seattle is so antiquated compared to London's. It was super easy to get around the city and very cheap too. I believe a round trip, um, or no, I think each ride is like two pounds, which is fairly reasonable because it is underground. You get there super fast. I enjoyed my trip so much, so many good food spots. Um, anyway, yeah, I can go on and on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short, I guess not so short video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have been here. Okay, again, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great week. Bye.